You have been tuned in to the normal everyday stream on the Jizz TV. V, v, v. Okay. <laughs> what is that at the end, dude? What do you, what do you always do that? <laughs> You're listening to the. <laughs> You're so stupid. <laughs> So dumb, fool. No, I know you didn't come up with that yourself. Where, where'd you copy that from? <laughs> no, it's not. You got it off of some show. Dude, there might be something similar out there, bro. That's <laughs> me. And there's one thing I've noticed, bro. This is one thing the uniqueness out there. You're not. You don't think so? You don't think you can be unique in this day and age? No, oh, you want to? I guess. I don't know. And joined here today is my guest, Trippy Hippie, uh, known from Master of Science, Master of Science and Progress, and progress. Uh, also an advocate of the Flat Earth Theory. Here you go. Welcome, Trippy Hippie. <clears throat> Thank you. It's a pleasure to be here on Jizz TV. First off, I want to thank you and your listeners um, Thanks for tuning in uh, Don't forget to shout, follow, and uh, I'll do all that stuff Now, um, I could go on for the flat earth theory for days So let's not get into that one But, um, what were we talking about? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Even yeah, I forgot. I got too excited in breaking your pants. Well then, um, let's just go ahead and take this into a new direction. So the tensions in the Middle East right now are kind of fiery, so to speak. No pun intended. Because if you're following the news lately, there was a uh, explosion of some sort and some sort of gas shit. It's actually not that funny. <laughs> Actually, pretty busy, serious shit. Sorry, uh, sorry. I was just thinking of an inside joke as soon as you were telling me that story. Oh, I see. Uh, so tell us about yourself, <laughs> Mister Trippy Hippie. Well, um, I wish I could, but I would more would like to know what this inside joke is. <laughs> so we could then continue the interview because right now that's. I was just reminded of the time, remembering the time of when my cousin thought she had an iPhone, but it mm. ended up being a, a fake iPhone. And I found. <laughs> that was spelled with the F-A-U-X, French for false. And I found. <laughs> but I'm tss. So, um, were we talking about the meningococcal disease, maybe? <laughs> no, you mentioned something about the fiery situation in mm, the Middle East. Mm -hmm. That shit crazy. So, what is happening in the Middle East? What kicked this off? Same shit, bro. Different toilet. Always the United States meddling in foreign affairs. I don't want to blame it all on Trump, but, you know, he's not certainly not doing us any favors. But what about society as a whole? Society as a whole? Society as a whole. What are your thoughts on that? Society as a whole, eh? I think the internet has made everybody have a voice. You do have a PS4. And now everybody's bitching about everything nowadays. And they lost their backbone. Nobody can take a joke anymore. Everybody's taking shit too seriously. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And yes, I do have a PS4, as you can see. It's right here on the screen. <laughs> well, excuse me. It looks identical to the PS3, <laughs> PS2, and the PSP. <laughs> Nothing has changed. What do you mean? So, um, if you're just tuning in, uh, this is Trippy Hippie, and we were just talking about how i uh, been on Xbox for the last couple of years. <laughs> um, we were? Okay. When this guy here, the side. Drizz, uh, much respect to him, this is his show, but he was taking shots when he shouldn't have, <laughs> seeing as how I'm not a PlayStation guy. Um, 
<laughs> Xbox, Microsoft being the superior of the systems. Okay. Unpopular opinion here, but pretty popular opinion. <laughs> And with that being said, <laughs> let's get started into oh, Full Metal Alchemist. Uh, <laughs> Full Metal Alchemist is much better than Brotherhood. And that's a fact, point blank period. <laughs> Maybe unpopular opinion, but it has to be said. Okay. Yo, uh, what? <laughs> I mean... <laughs> yeah, that's really hippie. Um, can you tell me? You're an advocate hip-hop. Fan, right you're that's a huge right. hip-hop fan i would say a double that's right <laughs> so uh you know there's the two greatest the two greats that passed away in hip-hop mm -hmm. uh both brutally murdered mm -hmm. tupac shakur oh i thought we were talking about <laughs> triple x <Xencion>. and <laughs> no <laughs> who triple x tentacion <laughs> no, no 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 but Little Birdie told me you used to you were in uh, Brooklyn when uh, Homeboy Biggie got. Uh, that's right. That's smoked. right. Thanks can for bringing. Thanks can for you bringing let that us up. Know, like the atmosphere. The, Abs the, how how was Brooklyn? You know, absolutely. This describe is... the smells, the trash. Yeah, cans. absolutely. That's a great question. Um, unfortunately, it's a overly asked question, but I'll go ahead and uh, tell you anyway. Um, so yeah, I believe the year was ninety four and. Um, you know, I'm still, I'm young, I'm young, but I'm an old heart, so to speak, uh, wise beyond my ears. But um, yeah, you know, it was a very solemn day, you know, word had just spread that the notorious B.I.G., you know, R.I.P., I'm motioning, pouring out some uh, champagne at the moment. <laughs> so R.I.P. to uh, notorious B.I.G. It was just a really sad day, you know, people were getting ready to riot, everyone was upset. Um, even the smell, the air, the smell in the air was even um, fiery. It was toasty. Um, of course, it was, you know, mid-October, mid-July. Uh, anyways, I digress. And then, um, you know, people were sad, man. It was, it was really hard times. It was really bad times. And then all of a sudden, you know, I had the, uh, the thought to bust out the boombox. And, uh, man, <laughs> let me tell you. You got to Wait. you got to sound ready. You got to sound ready. Bro, I don't know, but I, his hip, his hip, Titan's hip, it don't tie with the other side. God damn. Uh, we're gonna take a thirty second break here. We've got some technical issues. Um, it appears the Jizz here uh, forgot the five P's. That's uh, proper. Preparation prevents per performance. Um, no, I'm not. So it was oh. a very sad day. Everyone, <laughs> everyone's ready. And then I had the thought, you know, why am I gonna sulk around and make this a sad day? So I busted out the boombox. I threw in my A track, and then I let it fly. And it was just the crowds went wild. I don't know if you are able to hear this or if it's just him, but the crowds, the street, man, it just party for so, the next 24 hours. So you mean to tell me, if you were there, everybody just heard the news, everybody was, it was just quiet because everybody was just so devastated, I'm imagining. And everybody was down in the dumps, you take out your boombox, and you blast hypnotize. Right hand on the Bible, I do. <laughs> And then people started, what happened once they heard the <laughs> I'm telling you, it was electric. It was like being in a uh, Trailblazers stadium in game five against OKC and Dame saying goodbye to Paul George, which I was there, by the way. <laughs> For those of you just tuning in, I was at the Blazers game when Damian Lillard shot the uh, buzzer beater. Over Paul George. No, it was as here. Paul as Paul George has said, may, some of you might remind you is a bad shot, quote unquote. That's what we call a salty motherfucker. <laughs> All right, let's get back to the topic of Biggie. I don't know why okay. we we right, right, right. into the Blazers, uh, Rip City. Right, right. So the little Big Burger is. Uh, Shoutouts to Greg Oden. What? No. <laughs> Fun fact: I saw Greg Oden at a. Uh, 
I, well, in order for you, this is the point in the story where you need to understand that I used to work at the Home Depot uh, many years ago. So Ooh. while I was at the Home Depot, uh, no shout out Home Depot, uh, I happened to run into Greg Odin. Now, I like to respect uh, customer employee confidentiality, so I won't tell you what he was doing. But let's just say that he was on his way to move out of Portland. So I'm chilling at the, uh, what they refer to as the special services desk. And uh, I see this tall, tall dude, tall, tall uh, African-American basketball player looking average guy (laughs) walking with a cane. Ooh, that was the sad part. When I saw Greg Oden with the cane, I was like, man, this guy's gone. And he was asking if we had any free boxes. (laughs) Yeah. That's right. (laughs) And, And you told him... No, sir. <laughs> IL3, 199, just like everybody else. Oh, it didn't matter that he was Greg Oden. Thanks for nothing. <laughs> <laughs> now, for people that don't, that aren't into basketball, why did you say that that smart comment at the end there? Well, if you're just tuning in, uh, this is Trippy Hippie, and I'm being interviewed live on Juice TV, and we're talking <laughs> sports at the moment. Um, so I've been a lifelong Trailblazer fan for maybe the last 10 years or so, um, ever since I've been able to follow them. Um, I've always had a real passion with basketball. I think uh, it always goes back to the days, I believe, my father and I used to bend, <laughs> bond over the basketball uh, Highlights, but that's that's neither oh, here nor there. Are you yeah, right, I'm, okay. I'm, are I'm, you I'm, I'm okay. The, <laughs> the thing is, basketball and the Trailblazers, it's it definitely has formed a part of my identity and my culture. Um, what was your original question? <laughs> whether whether I would consider a Chevy Trailblazer. Is that the question? (laughs) (laughs) Oh shit, we're still listening to fucking hip hop. For those of you tuning in, uh, we are now listening to Check Yourself by uh, Ice Cube and the uh, Sugar Hill Gang. (laughs) Wait, the Sugar Hill Gang's on here? Hashtag S. Yourself, cause I'm back for your health. I'm not coming well. <laughs> I don't know if I can play this. I don't think I have the rights to this song. For the YouTube Autobot, <laughs> this is what you're looking for. <laughs> Yo, so uh, growing up, what were some of the your like hobbies that you like to do? What would uh, what would you do coming out of like <clears throat> middle school or? Okay, so this is the uh, part in the story where I should probably mention that I moved here from New York when I was 10 years old. <laughs> oh, so you're from New York? I'm from oh, New York, that's, that's right. That's how you know that's about how, Big Game. That's right, that's right, I that's see, right. And a fun fact, Curtis Jackson, uh, Homeboy 50, used to be a neighbor. But that's it's neither here. That's right, that's right. That was neither here nor there, just a unit. But, um, <laughs> oh yeah, so there was just two, there's two parts to my childhood. All there's right. uh, pre-New York. And there's a post-New York. Okay. Post-New York, obviously, thriving out here in the Pacific Northwest. Okay. Shout out PDX. Um, actually, for those of you just tuning in, I'm also a rapper. Um, but <laughs> Got a SoundCloud? Get, or? I mean, it's I'm still r- very underground, and I like to keep it that way. Okay. Um, you don't want to be like The weekend, who is like, you know. Now that's right. Like, that's right. He's a little too mainstream nowadays. I mean... Uh, there's definitely going to be a, a time when I'm ready to reap in the uh, big, um, big, uh, big music bucks, if you will. You know the whole uh, music Have you seen business. His new look? Uh, you seen no, his I new haven't. Let's pull it up. Well, let me, Let's let me pull, pull it up, it up here. For those of you just tuning in, we're pulling up an image of the weekend's new look. Uh, <laughs> a Bell Tespaye, if you're not familiar. Uh, here you go, bro. Uh, there he is. Got kind of like a Freddie Mercury okay, kind okay. of Okay, okay. So he's uh, definitely got the childish Gambino look trying to go on. Uh, that's what I get. Those kind of uh, 60s, 70s R&B, no racial, R&B uh, kind of like, you know, 
Marvin Gaye type. Um, it was good. It was good. It was a uh, handsome, handsome young man there. Um, <laughs> but yeah, so uh, thriving out here in the Pacific that's Northwest is giving me the culture. That's right. Sorry, sorry, sorry. sorry. Continue, sir. Continue. Sorry, it's my first interview. Okay, I'll allow it. Um, <laughs> Which I'm glad you actually brought up the weekend because that's um, Kauai culture is one of the things that I'm pursuing actively. But um, we'll get into that another day. Hi, Titan. For those of you just tuning in, Titan is my dog. He uh, barges in uh, unannounced and, and, and like that. Uh, so, yeah, so after school for fun, uh, oh, yeah, what right. I do as a kid. Uh, it really depends, you know, if it was summer break, obviously there was no after school, but, uh, I remember vividly burning plastic and, uh, the plastic would make a cool noise, you know, like a, oh, like a plastic, like a plastic Pepsi, burning type, Pepsi exactly. Bottle. Like a plastic Pepsi bottle burning type of fucking sound. <laughs> um, I used to do that shit over ant holes. <laughs> and how did that go? Was it? Did you uh, kill the colony of ants, or? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I see. Uh, um, I, see. I so, used to climb trees. Okay. We used to have clubhouses up there. In the trees? In the trees, yeah. We used to have uh, trees we used to climb off in. Wow. And um, I remember with... Uh, so like the episode of Drake and Josh? Mm. Where they... I'm not familiar. Trails. Growing up, I actually did not have to have a TV. <laughs> oh, really? Really. I really grew up without any electronics whatsoever. <laughs> uh, all right. Uh, you seem like you don't believe me. <laughs> yeah, because, I mean, I've grown up with you, and I always recall you having pretty much like the latest Blackberries at the time. I mean, you had the iPod Touch before I even knew it was a thing. You had the PSP. You know, packed and of, ready to go. For those of you just tuning in, um, this trendsetter I he's talking about you. is a uh, trippy hippie. A, um, that uh, happens to me, me actually. So uh, appreciate the follow. Uh, tell your friends, <laughs> tell your wives, tell your husbands. Because they snatching everyone out here. <laughs> um, yo, PSP, you liked that device, didn't you? Loved it. <laughs> And then, uh, if I recall, there was one time where you were tinkering with your PSP. I believe trying to add LEDs to the shoulder buttons. And uh, you somehow broke your screen. Well, uh, there's definitely a lot of things I'd like to clarify here with your story, if I may. Um, <laughs> is this thing on? Okay. <laughs> it is, it um, is. So, I don't like the term tinker. I definitely was not tinkering with anything. Um, if anything, I was a young pioneer in the homebrew uh, jailbreak uh, mod movement. <laughs> okay. Um, so, yeah, with the original PSP, if you recall correctly, um, you were able to install uh, homebrew on it, which is, for those of you just tuning in, um, software that is not meant to be on the device. Uh, just Google it if you really like don't get emulators, it. Emulators, for example. Ex uh, think like of it. A, think of a it like as Tetris. Think exactly. Think of it as a Linux or a Ubuntu that uh, you're running on the PSP. But right, it's right, you know right. it's okay. homebrew. So that's what homebrew. Is. That's what homebrew is. Okay. In a nutshell. Uh, don't quote us though. <laughs> um, oh yes. So I was not tinkering. I was more of a. Uh, of a, a young engineer at heart and trying to figure it out. And um, if any of you listeners are still out there with a PSP original, uh, think about this, adding blue LEDs to those <laughs> shoulder pads will look super cool. That's a project anybody would like, actually. So it's not too late. Um, and in fact, it's easier nowadays because what had caused me to mess up back in the day is that the pictures on the DIYs, that's do-it-yourself uh, websites, we're not as clear as they are today. <laughs> uh, right. Believe it or not, there, there it was, was very no, dick. There was no iFixit. There was no. There was correct? no iFixit.com. No. So I was going to pauseadventuretimes.net <laughs> to try and figure out how to take apart this PSP. Um, and the pictures. Uh, how many? Hold on. Yes. Do you recall like the pixels that a camera would have back in the day? Uh, I I remember hearing like eight. 
Eight I want to say something like that. I want to say it was something like that uh, with the <laughs> proliferation. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. <laughs> with the uh, proliferation of um, phone devices and cameras and megapixels. Who knows anymore, to be honest. <laughs> uh, but it was a Canon D90 Elf, if you will. <laughs> um, those type of quality. It was it was good, but the uh, the way they were able to upload was not as fantastic. Um, so I'm so, over here on Paul's Travel Pictures How to Fix PSP, and um, I'm going off one picture, and I'm trying to unlatch something that looks like a freaking latch, and um, oh, that's that's correct. It told me to unpin a certain module there, and. Um, well, I uh, thought that the pins were to be unpinned. So it was like a 36-pin <laughs> device, and I started removing each little wire individually um, when I gave up. And in giving up is when I started messing around with our stuff and realized it was just a little flip. All right, all I had to do was pull out the ribbon and place the ribbon back in there and flip it back tight. Uh, but again, due to the quality of the pictures online, it had led me to believe <laughs> that I was supposed to remove each individual prong. And that, and you were doing this on your own PSP. What happened when you tried to use that PSP? It was my own PSP, but I tried to uh, replace the part with uh, one of your buddies. <laughs> friend's PSP. <laughs> hold on, hold on. So, you're getting out of you're getting out of the story. So we're not um Hold on, no, the, that's the, coming the, up, that's coming up. When you turned on your PSP, once you unpinned all those pins right. by hand, what right. happened when you tried to use that PSP? The screen was black. The screen was black. And then coincidentally, at the time that you did this, I also had a friend who was also into PSP modding and hacking. And he had a bricked PSP that he was going to send <laughs> to get repaired. And he was going to pay all this money. And you came up with this idea of what? Of what? Well, <laughs> I'm glad you brought that up. For those of you just tuning in, we're talking about a PlayStation Portable story in which uh, the Driz here <laughs> had... Um, essentially deceived his friend in the eighth grade <laughs> into giving him his PlayStation portable device with the intention of swapping out the LSD screens with uh, Trippy Hippie. Um, so what happened at this point is the dude's device was bricked. He had voided the warranty. There's He could have paid all he wanted. They would have refunded the fucking same PlayStation portable right back to him. He was kaboot. Um... <laughs> So, due to my device being uh, the way it was, um, broken, what I'd happened, what Jujuz's idea was, is um, <laughs> how about we replace the screens here? Since it's bricked, it doesn't turn on, and he'll never know. <laughs> so, uh, that's what we did. We replaced <laughs> no, the LCD no, no, no. screen. We gave, uh, you know. we gave the deceptive friend... Um, <laughs> The faulty PSP with the <laughs> with the cracked screen, and what, ultimately, <laughs> what did he do? Did he send it in for repair? <laughs> okay, so I think he sent it in me, for repair, and it was voided you. because the sticker was removed. <laughs> let me tell you my side of the story. I'm telling you, from what I recall, is I told you, I had a guy, a friend at school, that had a brick PSP. And it wasn't that I deceived the friend. You kind of manipulated me to take his PSP. <laughs> you told me to take this fool's PSP, which he did. I went to school the next day. I said, I have a friend who could unbrick it for you. It'll be free. You don't have to worry about it. He'll just do it. And that's how I reeled that, that classmate in. He wasn't even really a friend. He was just an acquaintance, mostly. And so... Shark Pikachu. <laughs> <laughs> what the, I don't understand that, but shark Pikachu meme. <laughs> so then, I have the PSP, and I said, "Hey, bro, here it is. You could just swap out the screens, <laughs> and you take it." <laughs> you son of a bitch. 
You broke my magnet. And you take it, basically. <laughs> and you didn't learn your lesson from the first fucking PSP dismantling. Because you, again, unpinned. <laughs> I want to take this opportunity to also shout out Paul's Travel Pictures. Because that's a great website for how to do... Uh, DIY auto repair. Shout you, out Paul's Travel Pictures dot com. You, you unpinned every single thing manually again on his PSP and thus you had two broken PSPs. <laughs> we can sit here all day and argue about my truth versus your truth. <laughs> but at the end secret secrets are no fun. Secret secrets hurt someone <laughs> and, then, be out. and then i had to give it back to him and then i had to kind of avoid him all throughout the year because <laughs> i don't know if he sent that psp out to get repaired after that. <laughs> if you're just now tuning in we're talking about uh just middle school years and how he would uh, avoid a certain friend <laughs> what? and uh, what? shade, uh, sh- uh, what's the term? Ghost them all day. <laughs> and I mean, that was it. I don't think you ever got the LEDs on the shoulder buttons on the, your PSP. You broke two screens, essentially. The guy got totally used for his PSP and nothing got fixed at the end of the day. I'm going to go ahead and uh, take a break here, and uh, we're going to put in a word from our sponsors. Oh, okay. Um, if you uh, stay tuned in after the show, we're going to get a little bit more into um, employment tricks of the business and how to keep yourself healthy and employed. Uh, coming up <laughs> okay. next. Okay. Um. This has been a production from Blendersmoothie.com. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, so... There. We're on the break right now? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let's play some Modern Warfare. Thank you, bro. Thank you. That was a, an amazing... Can you do an outro? What? Can you do an outro? I don't know, man. You're the one. Come on, man. <laughs> well, then, say a... And that's a wrap, folks, on the Driz TV. V, 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 v. Tune in again next time for Co op Thursday. Ladies and gentlemen, I know. <laughs> what is that? Bro? What is that?